Many women confuse men saying, I love you, with commitment. So it's nerve-wracking when he hasn't said it, and a weight of your shoulders when he has. But what if words don't mean as much as we give him credit for? That's why today, I'm going to be sharing the top five signs that a guy is totally into you and even falling in love with you, even if he hasn't said the words just yet. I'll be the first one to say that for any woman who wants to create a long-term, fulfilling and committed relationship with a man, hearing the three words, I love you, is incredibly important. But what if the guy takes longer that you want him to take and don't want to just throw something out that could be a great relationship? I want to give you a framework for you to evaluate what's really taking place in his heart, in his mind, as he gets the courage to mutter those three words. The first clear sign that the guy is falling for you is what I call an inspired stance. That means that he has the excitement, the aliveness, the, the visceral lighting up like a Christmas tree when he sees you without taking it to the place where he can't control himself. So that means that he has the wherewithal to step into your boundaries, meaning boundaries for physical connection, boundaries for sexual connection, boundaries for dating. What happens when the guy has the excitement but also has the presence and the consciousness to create more trust before he asks for more. You want more of him, and it takes more of him to control himself that way. So when guys do that, typically they want to do things right, and they're feeling more for someone. So they're willing to wait. They're willing to delay gratification. The second sign that the guy is falling for you is that he prioritizes you more in his life. And there's three different categories that you can evaluate. He's attitude. The first one is time. He takes time to call you. He takes time to text you. He takes time to ask you on dates. He spends quality time with you. The second category is presence because you can spend time with someone and not really be there. You can spend time with someone and be looking at your phone or your watch constantly. When he understands that you're a valuable woman, and he starts feeling more for you, he's going to make time stop a little bit and focus and be present with you. The more present he is, the more he's falling for you. And the third category of evaluation is decisions. When a guy is really falling for you, he starts taking you more and more into account when making decisions, when making decisions about his life, big decisions, for example, career moves, or not that he's not going to do something he really wants in his heart, but he's going to take some time to evaluate how does that affect the relationship? How does that affect the connection? And he connects with you and asks you questions that allow you to know that he's taking you into consideration. Third, clear sign that the guy is falling for you, even when he hasn't verbalized it yet, is what I call conscious acts of service. Here's what I mean by that. Many guys can do things that add value to your life, but when the guy is getting more time knowing you really well, so where the acts of service are exactly what you need versus some idea that's kind and nice, but not really what you need. It goes even to the category that I call anticipating needs. He knows you had a rough day, and instead of waiting for you to say, hey, can you help me make dinner? He's already made dinner for you and brought it up for you. Maybe he's a guy who understands that you're experiencing maybe a shift in, in your job, and he has an extra something to comfort you that day because he's thinking about you and he understands that certain things affect you more powerfully than others. So he's talking to you and communicating with you and sharing things with you in acts of service in a way that you feel like music to your heart. Now, before I share steps four and five, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet that you're not fully aware of the root cause that's keeping you single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every kind of love challenge you can imagine to experience lasting love and put it together in a simple quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will share with you two things. Number one, the number one reason you're still single. And number two, a report that will share with you based on your specific blind spot, what's the number one thing you can do starting today to reverse this trend and attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Step number four is what I call self-initiated future plans. That means that without you having to bring it up, he is on his own sharing Here's what I'm looking forward next month. Here's what I'm looking forward in December. Can we do this next year? When he starts taking off his own accord time into the future and planning things, including introducing it to his friends, introducing it to his family, connecting with 
things that work, that are meaningful to him, adding it to his hobbies, when he's taking that future pacing stance and making it happen and being clear with you about it, he will only do that with someone he's really into. And the last step, step number five, is when he's willing to step into sacrifice. Because here's the thing, relationships are not just fun and giggles. Relationships are not just a honeymoon. Relationships are things will happen, shit will hit the fan every now and then. And if you have a guy who's willing to be with you through thick and thin, who understands that he, he might be tired and there's something that's vitally important to you, you may not even be asking for it explicitly, but he's there, he knows you and he's willing to stick it with you. Or maybe there's a difficult conversation to be had and he's willing to have it, even though he doesn't want to have it, right? When he's willing to be vulnerable with you, when he's willing to have those difficult conversations, when he's willing to be your rock on uncertain times, just like you can be his in uncertain times, that's when you know that someone is not just there for the good times, but can transform pain into something powerful, can transform fear into certainty, can transform vulnerability into a blessing and a sharing of his heart. Now, what now? Does it mean if the guy is showing up this way that you should relax and just move on? Unfortunately not. Because even if he is falling in love with you, even if he loves you, love doesn't equal commitment, love doesn't equal alignment on values, and love certainly doesn't equal alignment on timeline. So in addition to what I'm sharing with right now, evaluating what's taking on, you need to have uncomfortable conversations from the very early stages of dating that allow you to see what the guy has in mind in terms of a vision for a long-term relationship and also in terms of timeline. Many men who are excited and connected and are into you may have secretly adopted a five-year plan. And I've never had a single client reaching out to me saying, Bern, can you sign me up for the five-year plan? It just doesn't happen. You want to make sure that you're both aligned, especially if you want children, for example, or especially if you're looking for marriage. That not about you specifically, because he may not know you well enough, but if everything goes great, if things go according to his plan, when does he see himself stepping to specific milestones? That's what we're looking for. Hope this is helpful and useful. And if it is, it would mean the world to me and to my channel if you click like and subscribe. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to go to the next video right here.